Welcome to another video on Power BI interview questions. Hope you're watching this series from beginning. So the next question which you may be asked is, is there a way to set a date slicer that always shows today's date or the current month? So basically what happens in Power BI, we want to default our slicer to let's say today or to this month or this quarter or this year. Power BI do not have any functionality to default the slicer using major. We have something known as a pre-selected slicer and do that, which you can try out. But usual slicer doesn't do that. As of now, when we are recording this video, Power BI slicer does not have an option to default it using a major. So what you have to do is you have to add additional columns, static columns in your table that will default it on today or from this month. So let's say I can create a column is today, which if date equals to today, then today else a date. And then I'm appending double quotes because it will become text. It will create a new column which will having value today for the today's date. Otherwise, it will have a date value and all these values are text values. And then I can use this in slicer. I can mark date as a sort column for this one or I can mark a column which is derived from date to become the sort column for this one because if I create a column directly from a date column it cannot be sorted on the date column. So I can sort it on a column and then it will sort the dates though the dates are in a different form. Similar fashion what you can do is you can default current month create a month type where you can say if the current month's end date is equal to the end date of today and that's where we will be able to push all the dates of the month on a single date and that single date we can compare with today's month and date then it is current one otherwise you can format date into a month year format or you can use a month year column this column also need to be sorted on a month year sort column to work perfectly fine so in this manner you will be able to save now your slicer on today or current month so it is not that i'm going to still get the current month's date or today's date we will not be able to see that you might have to use label for that you might have to use you know a card or you might have to use a text box to showcase that today's value but this will at least make sure that you don't have to change your slicer every day or every month just because you want to see current month's value or today's value same is applicable for yesterday last month and date this month next month quarter year whatever you want you can do it using the same method so let's go ahead to the power bi desktop and try this out so i'm here on the power bi desktop let me add a page to 65 now if today I bring in month here and I create it as a slicer, so whatever I select will remain. It can be used as default value. Even if I go to the properties of this slicer, I don't have any option in the visual properties also to default the slicer to a value. Since I cannot default it. Let's add one more slicer, the date slicer onto the page and create a list of dates and try to default it to a value. Let us see, do we have an option for that? Let's change this to a slicer and to a list slicer and there yes, sir, you BCP. will be able to see that I do not have Between any this, properties that inside that my slicer to default it to a date like today. So let's try adding new columns for that. So what I can do here is I can go add new column to my date table. Uh, what are those new columns? So I want column which contains today and I want a column which contains this month. So let's create, let's call it date one. And what I'm going to do here is if the date is equals to today, then today else date ampersand double quote, double quote, close the parenthesis. Now, because I want to sort, I let me duplicate the date column as date sort so that I don't get the circular dependency error. So date sort is nothing but date. I can now sort it on date sort. Because both are derived from the date so I can sort. Let me also add the column for month year. Month year 1 or month year type. So month year type is if EO month end of month of date comma 0. So if EO month of date means current month's end date equals to the EO month of today and that to 0 means whatever is today in that month's end date and then we will call it current month if the it matches as we will use whatever we have in the month here and we can create this column. now we need to adjust the sorting of these columns so let me first of all showcase you these columns in the data view so this is my date one and date one will contain today also depends on whether i have today's date or not i don't have today's month or date so i need to extend my calendar till 2025 to do that let me extend it i can extend it till 2024 also looking at the current date but i'm extending it till 2025 now date one should have today. So let me search it. So it has today as you can see. And similarly, I will have this month in my month year. As I scroll down, you can see current month value in my month year type column. So I will sort the date one on the date sort. So I'll go to the column tools and there I have the sort by column option. I'll use that 
and I'll sort it on date sort. Now I'll go to the month year type and I can sort this month year type on month year sort only uh, because it's not dependent on month year sort, so I can sort it. So let's go back to our visualization layer. So first of all, let me change the month year column to month year type column. And once I change it to month year type column, I can go ahead and choose the current month and save on this. So now what would happen is it will always be on current month. And whenever I open, it will show me data for current month. There are very rare chances that I will have current month as well as date. But in case of date, you will see today and uh, you will be able to initialize that. So let's go and change the date column also use the date one column. Now date one has today and I can initialize it on today. Now, because I'm using both the slicer on the same page, that's why the behavior is that it is filtering current month and this is only showing me the today's month, but you will have them on different pages and then they will not filter each other. Or even if there is a case where they filter each other, you can use them as per need. So in this manner, now you know that how you're going to initialize the month slicer on current month or last month or current or quarter on this quarter, last quarter, year on this year, last year. Same way date on today, yesterday, next day, last month and date, all these combinations you can drive out. So go ahead and try this out. And in this manner, you can answer this interview question. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series. If you have any question or topic you would like me to explore in this series, please let me know in the comments below. Your support is truly means the world to us. It's the reason we create and share these videos. If you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please consider liking, sharing and commenting. It helps us immensely. Until next time, keep learning and stay connected. Thank you.